In Unreal Engine, we can merge multiple static mesh actors into one. This reduces draw calls and helps with project optimization. There are five ways to do it. In this video, I'm gonna go over all of them. So let's do it. I have three meshes with different materials. Select all of them. Up here from the top menu bar, click on actor. Select convert actors to static mesh. A new window opens. It's gonna make a new mesh out of these three actors. We should choose the location to save the new static mesh. Select the folder. Then down here, select the name. And click on save. And there it is. We can now add it as one mesh to the level. Up here click on selection mode and select modeling. If you don't have it, go to settings, plugins, here search for modeling tools. And make sure modeling tools editor mode is turned on. So I'll press shift and 5 to go to modeling mode. The modeling tab will open here. Select the meshes. Then under X form select merge. I'll just change handle inputs to hide inputs and new asset location to current folder. Make sure you're in the folder you want the new mesh to be saved in, then click on accept. The new merged mesh will be saved here. We can drag and drop it in the scene and use it as one object. It's also added to the level exactly where the source meshes are, and the source meshes are hidden. Select all of them. Up here from the top menu bar, click on actor. Under merge actors, there are these different types of merge we can select from. I'm gonna go with merge. Select where you want to save the new merged mesh. Name it. And click on save. And now you can add it to the level. Again select the actors. Under the tools menu bar, there's a merge actors option. Click on it to open it. The merge actors window will open. Let's stack it next to the content browser. Here there's a list of what we want to merge. The settings I'll keep at their default. Replace source actors down here is a handy option. When enabled, the merge mesh automatically replaces the source actors. So let's enable it and click on merge actors. Select where you want to save it. Give it a name and click on save. As you can see the merged mesh has replaced the source meshes at their exact location. If replace source actors was disabled, then we would have to manually add it to the level from the content browser. Check out the Unreal documentation for more info on merging actors. I'll put the link in the description below. The last method involves using union in the modeling tools. It's a little bit different, so I've explained it in a separate video. You can click here to watch it. This was a quick demonstration of merging. I go more in depth about the merge settings and what happens to the materials and the pivot when merging in this video. So check it out and thank you so much for watching. Like this video, subscribe and join our communities on Telegram, Discord and Facebook. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. So, see you in the next one.